Hello and welcome to my video all about how to do the fisherman's rib stitch. The fisherman's rib stitch is reversible and you can see an example of it at the bottom of this knitting sample. On both sides you have quite large loose looking stitches and if you compare that to the example of half fisherman's rib stitch which you can see at the top of this knitting sample you will see that the half fisherman's rib looks a lot more compact and less bulky. I'll be showing you how to do the half fisherman's rib stitch in my next video. The first step of doing the fisherman's rib stitch is to cast on an even number of stitches. In my case, I've cast on 18 stitches. And then all I'm going to do on the first row is purl stitches. So I just purl the entire way across the first row. You could refer to this row as a setup row because it's not going to be repeated later on in the pattern. And then for the next row, I'm going to start with a purl stitch. So once again, make sure the yarn is at the front as always with purl stitches and do one purl stitch. The pattern for this row is what you're going to be repeating for every single row of the fisherman's rib. So this is the main pattern row for this stitch. Okay, so the next stitch is a knit one below stitch. To do a knit one below stitch, all you're doing is a regular knit stitch put into the stitch below the one that you normally go into with your needle. So I usually hold my left hand needle horizontally and I usually push the strand of the top stitch that's in front of the needle towards the point of the needle and I push the strand of the top stitch that's behind the needle further down the needle away from the point. This lets you see the line of stitches a lot clearer. So here you can see there's the hole next to the needle and then underneath that is another hole and it's that one that you're going to put your right hand needle through. So once you've done that you treat it as a normal knit stitch so you cross the right hand needle behind, wrap the yarn around the right hand needle point and then pull that yarn back through the stitch. Be careful at this point that you don't pull the needle through the stitch that you normally would and then as usual, you push that stitch off the left hand needle to complete it. And that's one knit stitch below completed. And then you just repeat those two stitches. So you bring the yarn between the needles to the front because we're going to be doing one more pill stitch. And then you take the yarn between the needles to the back to do a knit one below. So you look for the loop that's below the loop that you normally go through for a knit stitch. Take your needle from front to back through that. Wrap the working yarn around the needle and then pull the yarn back through that same stitch. And then completing the knit stitch as usual. And then we repeat that again. So we bring the yarn to the front of the needles and do a purl stitch. And take the yarn to the back of the needles to do a knit one below. And then keep repeating those two stitches along the row. Until you get to the last two stitches, which will be purl stitches. And that's it, that's the whole pattern for fisherman's rib. So you simply repeat that last row you did over and over again. So purl one, knit one below, over and over until the last two stitches, which you just purl. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you'll join me for the half fisherman's rib stitch video, which will be next. Thanks very much for watching.